All right, I'm inside. I just spoke to the lady where I can actually film a little bit inside here and she said yes. I just literally handed in my very first home task. Yes, I'm a student again. Lastminute.com is always me, but I've done it. It's done, it's handed in, and it's a beautiful day now outside in Tallinn, and I'm gonna take you to the place that I've wanted to go for a really long time. So let's hope it's open. Love trams. So the place that I am right now is, is basically just a huge hipster village. So it's a very creative kind of quarter where a lot of like new startups are located and if you want to have like some really nice like pizza or pasta, this is the place where you should be coming. So the reason why we're here is that building behind me. We as photographers, or actually any creators in that sense, put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy, a lot of passion into everything that we create. And what happens when we put our work out there to be judged, it doesn't get views or it doesn't get recognition or it doesn't get love expected to get, it makes us really, really sad. You can even say that unrecognized work makes us feel really bad, as if we've done something wrong, as if we do not really matter, as if we don't really have skills to put it out there. It's just not the nicest feeling. We're going to the exhibition hall. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I haven't been to exhibition for three years now. There is a photographer who is equally fascinated by colours as I am. I just finished with the exhibition, my mind is blown, blown away. So the place that we just went to is Fotografiska in Tallinn. I actually been to Fotografiska in Stockholm and it has left such a massive impact on me and my partner. It was so nicely curated, the lighting, the design, everything was just so on par that we loved it. And of course, when Fotografiska released the news that they will be opening a house in Tallinn, naturally I was like super, super excited. <music> So what I have decided, whilst I was looking at those beautiful, gorgeous pictures, is that you can't control things that are out of your control, as obvious as it sounds. You can't control how people are going to engage with that, you can't control what people, what people's reaction is going to be on that, but what you can control is what you're going to be doing next, you know, are you going to go to the gym, are you going to be in a sofa, are you going to drink coffee, are you going to drink tea, you know, are you going to be obsessing over the numbers, or are you going to, or are you going to get out there and do more work, and for myself, I think I've decided that I'm going to get out there and create create more pictures, you know, produce more videos because that's what makes me happy. I recently came across this quote by Andy Warhol. Can't really quote it from the top of my head, but basically the gist was, whilst people are judging and deciding whether they like your work or not, get out there and produce more work. My mom always used to say, go and sort out your sock drawer and after that you're gonna feel so much better. I used to think it's a complete But it is it, it actually works. Once you're gonna sort out your sock drawer, you feel like you've gathered control over this small little thing and you will feel much better. 
maybe you can do that too. So the question I have for you, have you organized a song draw yet? Have a fabulous day, stay classy, and I'll see you in my next episode.